Hi, this is Matricity with Matricity Muses. Welcome to my matrix. I hope you're having a great evening. Right now, it's a rainy evening in Charleston. I have just left 45 minutes of sitting in downtown traffic trying to avoid coastal flooding to get out of downtown. Oh my gosh, such a nightmare. But finally, made it home. Now the thing I want to talk about because of the rain and it is thundering a little so you might hear some thunder action in the background. Um, you know, because I injured my knee in college, I now have the need for my uh, Kanjo memory acupressure mat, which is this. So this is what we're going to talk about today. How great this mat is. Okay. It all started in college. I was the gym rat. I went to the gym all the time. I was doing aerobics and at that time it was all about high energy aerobics, not low impact but high impact back in the 80s. And I had gone to gym class one day. I had done an aerobic class for an hour and I was sitting around on the floor with some friends. We were just laughing and talking after the class was over. So I simply stood up to go home. We all stood up to go home and suddenly there was a loud crack like a gunfire going off and it was my right kneecap exploding into a million pieces inside there. Well, as it turned out, I did have to eventually have surgery because all those pieces were actually jammed in the joint and I couldn't straighten my leg. I couldn't bend my leg. It was like it was immobile because all the pieces were broken inside there of my kneecap. And so I eventually had to have surgery. And back then, this was on the cusp of the, oh gosh, what do you call it? The, uh, the new orthopedics, uh, arthroscope surgery for your knee that didn't require a cut and so my surgeon he was an old-timey surgeon and he said that my damage was so bad that I could not get that new technique and it was brand new then I had to get the regular incision terrible line incision on my knee you know have a big scar there today um, so that's what I had and then the worst part about it was when I got done with the surgery and him, he didn't recommend any PT for me. So I had uh, scarring adhesions inside the joint. And so I was, gosh, on crutches and kind of limping around for about a year. And I was in college when this happened. So then I decided to check out the sports medicine um, person at the, at the school because of all the basketball players. And I sat down and talked with him. He says, you know what? You've got this bad knee injury, but I think we can help you. So literally, I went to the College of Charleston Services, I think twice a week. And let me tell you, it was like a medieval torture chamber because he had to break up. We had to do all these exercises to break up that scar tissue inside the joint. It was the most painful thing. But, you know, after about a year, I was able to walk again, got rid of the crutches. I wasn't limping anymore. Granted, my knee wasn't quite exactly the same. Um, if I had started physical therapy right after the surgery, but I think I had a bad doctor for that one. Um, but I was able to walk and I was so happy and grateful. So I thank you College of Charleston for that. Now, years later, of course, here we are. And because of my knees, you know, they've gotten bad and throughout the years because I had the, the right knee had the surgery, sometimes it overcompensated with the left knee. Still went to the gym throughout these years. And so now I have a little bit of arthritis in both knees. The knee that had the surgery, of course, is the worst knee. About a year ago, I had a really bad flare up and ended up having to go to the doctor because I could hardly walk, it was so painful. And uh, what kind of instigated that whole problem was I was at church one Sunday morning and I was walking down the steps from the sanctuary down to our fellowship hall and suddenly my knee gave way on one of those steps and I was laid out flat on the floor, boom, flat on my face. Uh, luckily nothing was hurt, but uh, then I really needed to go to the orthopedic doctor, which I did. So I started therapy. And, uh, you know, I had to go therapy for at least about three months or so, maybe even longer. Lots of exercises. I had cold treatments for the knee, which really made a big difference. Um, I, and actually, because it was so weak when I went to him, I actually had to use a walker because I was so unstable on the knee. I was using my, my one crutch. And he says, you got to get rid of that one crutch. That's not going to work and it's not stable. He gave me a walker. I was not happy with the walker because I'm like, I consider myself still a young whippersnapper. What am I doing with the walker? But I had to use it. So I used it for a little while and then I was able to get rid of it. Knee got stronger with the therapy and I graduated to a cane. Really? A cane? But yes, I had to use a cane. I still have those things in case I need them again. Um, but, uh, but my knee got better. But, um, you know, it's still, you know, not great shape. 
he really said I need to have knee replacement surgery in the right knee because there is no cartilage left in that knee. It is bone against bone in there. And as a result of that, he says, well, you know, you might want to put it with a little bit longer, but eventually you're going to get to the point where it's like painful and achy that you're going to say, done, time for that surgery, get a new replacement. I haven't reached that point yet, but my knee, especially in days like today when it's rainy outside, it's like my own personal barometer. It can tell the weather. Usually it starts to ache a little the day before, and I know it's going to rain soon. <laughs> so today it's raining. Yesterday was a bad day. I was achy all day. Took Tylenol, you know, all kinds of things. And today, here's the rain. Once the rain comes, the achiness kind of goes away. Um, but out of all of that, going to therapy and, you know, knowing the things I have to do to keep my knee right, exercising it and things like that, I bought, and this was still about a year ago, this, uh, you know, Kanjo mat. I thought, well, maybe this will help me some. Because I thought about, and someone had told me about using uh, acupuncture for some pain things as opposed to having surgery. Well, I didn't know about that. You know, I'm not a fan of needles, but I'd be willing to try that. And I looked into it with when I had health insurance um, to see if it would cover it, but it was not. They would cover some things, but that wasn't one of them. Like they would cover the chiropractor visit, but I didn't need a chiropractor for my knee. Um, I needed a knee replacement. Um, but the acupuncture was something that would help maybe with pain and achiness. So that wasn't covered. So then I thought, what about one of these mats? So it's acupressure. And I read that, um, you know, it's supposed to help. Well, this mat I bought, it sat in the box for like maybe eight months. And so recently I just took it out of the box. I thought, you know what, let me try this mat. So, oh my gosh, believe me, it really does help. But the thing is, it's a tricky little thing. Let me tell you about it. First of all, if you see these little white things, these little white discs, they're in the shape of like Japanese lotus flowers, but they're all points like nails, like they're all sharp points. It's very, very hard plastic. Um, you hear that sound, how hard it is? It's hard plastic and uh, it's all over. Inside the mat, there's memory foam and it, it actually has Velcro on the back. So you can actually fold this and use this on other areas of the body. Um, you can use it on your back. If you have back problems on your shoulders, you can use it on your neck. You know, the Velcro pieces kind of, you know, put it together and it makes a roll. But what I use it for and what my directions in the packet say is to stand on it because what it does is by standing on these hard, hard pieces. And, and let me tell you, you can't do it all at once. The first time I tried to stand it, I thought, oh, it's terrible. It was so painful. It really, really hurts. It's painful. It's like standing on nails. I kid you not, standing on nails. They are so sharp. But what happens is the sharpness or these little standing on these points, you're actually um, standing and, and uh, stimulating pressure points within your body because the bottom of your foot, and I little have a little chart for this, um, every section of the bottom of your foot lines up with an organ or something inside your body. So when you stimulate it by standing on the mat, it's like acupuncture. Like you're putting the needles in, but you're using just using this pressure mat to do so. So you are going to get the same effects as some of the Chinese, the ancient Chinese uh, medicinal, medicinal, yeah, I can't say that word today, medicinal, yes, finally, um, benefits of acupuncture, but you're using acupressure with a pressure mat. So when I stand on this mat, and I usually start with one foot because it is still, even though I've been using it for several months, it is still so sharp and uncomfortable. I start with the, with the worst foot, which is the right knee. So I'll stand on the mat with that knee. And when I stand on it, you know, and put all my weight bearing on that one leg, I can actually feel little points of pain. I don't know if it's pain. Little points of pain, you know, in other parts of my body, like internally, I can feel that. So when I stand it with that one foot, I can feel it in other parts of my body that line it with the pressure, you know, points on my foot, which is kind of crazy, but it works. So I'll stand for like maybe five minutes on the bad knee. And then once I've gotten used to that one foot, I'll try the other leg and I will try to put both feet on this pressure mat. But I'm telling you, it is very painful. It is like standing on a bed of sharp, sharp nails. I kid you not. 
So once I stand on it for like maybe two minutes, um, then I usually get off because um, when I read the instructions when I first got it, when you first stand on it for like maybe the first two minutes, it really is trying to get your points of the pressure points within your body kind of stimulated and to reduce the pain. Longer than that, it actually uh, helps with circulation, like it'll start blood flowing. Like if you were to work yourself up to five minutes, you can actually feel that. And I did that once and I could feel the benefit of the blood flowing. But, um, you know, it's, it's so painful. So still, um, when I stand on it, but it, is, it does work. I honestly tell you that it does work. So I do recommend getting a mat. You know, it's better than the acupuncture because one, there are no needles involved. You don't have anything invasive going into your body like the needles. It's much cheaper. You know, when you think about um, going to the doctor, if your insurance doesn't pay for it, you're going to be paying out of pocket for an acupuncturist to insert the needles for you. This mat, oh my gosh, I think it was only like maybe $40 or so. Um, and it's by Kanjo, and I'll show you the company name. They do have a website. You can see that. And uh, it's online. So you can order a variety of things. They have this mat. They also have um, some mats that actually have aromatherapy scents built into them, like mint and other things. Um, and I didn't really want that. You know, I, I like aromatherapy, but I use other things like, you know, bath salts and bath beads for that when I take a shower or bath. But uh, the mat is good. I just really wanted it for the benefits of maybe helping my knee. So it works. You know, it's painful as you all get outdoors, you know, but once you get used for it, it actually stimulates the pressure points that line up with the points in your body. You can feel it. Uh, you know, I can feel it. I can feel points that, you know, the pressure points in my, um, you know, inside, in my, near my organs or whatever. It's, I don't know, it's weird. It's really, really weird, but I can feel them being stimulated. But, um, but it does help with the knee. So once I stand on this, I try to do this like maybe, uh, three times a day. If my knee is really achy because I know rain is coming, then I will stand on about three times a day and believe me, uh, by the time I get off, there's no pain or the pain is much reduced. Now, is that because these terrible hard little lotus flowers are so painful? The points are like nails and you know, the pain from that reduces any other pain for anything else I might be feeling? I don't know, but I do know that it works. So I do recommend this mat. It does really work. If you go to the website, they have lots of things in addition to that. They've got, you know, mats designed just for your back or just for your neck. But this one is kind of a multi-purpose one. Uh, I can roll it and it can do multiple things with it. So uh, the Kanjo mat, you know, I do recommend this. This is a great thing when it rains. Um, you know, it helps me. Now, the other thing, you know, that really helps me is, you know, in addition to using the mat, is to sometimes apply ice. Now, I do have an ice pack. Now, um, in addition to using this mat, I apply ice also because ice also helps the joint. Um, when I was going to physical therapy, they had like a compression machine, a cold machine. They would, you know, wrap me, my knee in this thing, and then I would be in that, that cold machine. They'd turn it on for 15 minutes, and I would be freezing. They'd come in with a little blanket or something. But the joint would be really, really cold. And that really reduced swelling because I had some swelling at that time also. It reduced swelling. Um, it definitely reduced the pain. And my knee felt fabulous for at least three days after I had therapy. Um, now the therapy is over. But I can get the same benefits with using my mat and also using my ice pack. Now I'll use my ice pack at night. So I'll fill it with ice and put it on there for like maybe 20 minutes and move it around. It's not as good as having that uh, machine that the therapist had at, at uh, St. Francis, but I do get the same benefits from using coal, so it does make a difference. And a leave. I live with a bottle of leave in my pocketbook because i um, got to have that pain relief, and Tylenol somehow just doesn't do quite the same when it comes to the knee pain. So, so the things that are going to help these old knees of mine are going to be my Kanjo mat, so definitely go to the website, check it out. You'll get used to these really hard lotus flowers just like I did. They're like a bed of nails, but it'll be worth it. Um, no needles, but you get the same benefit with acupressure as opposed to acupuncture. Again, some Aleve, and sometimes I do use some Icy Hot. I have a tube that I keep in my purse. The only thing about Icy Hot, and I haven't checked, is that it smells. So I smell like, you know, mom's like, what's you know, my daughter's like, what's that, Ben Gay? And it's like, no, it's not Ben Gay. It's icy hot. 
So that smell isn't always the greatest, that kind of minty menthol. Um, I need to check and see if they make a unscented something or other that I can use. Um, but anyway, I am managing the pain relief with the joint. So the mat, the Kanjo mat is great. Uh, Aleve, Icy Hot if I need it, and Ice. So those are the things that really do make the difference. So trying to manage that pain because Lord knows, I don't want to go get the knee replacement yet. You know, that's such an invasive thing, and I know eventually I'm gonna to have to break down and get it, but if I can manage right now by just doing some home remedy things, I'm happy with that. Um, I know eventually I'm gonna to have to get that new replacement, but right now I don't need that. I can I can live with, with suffering what I have now. Um, and the other thing, which was a benefit at the time, that uh, my doctor, he did give me a, pa I guess a pass or permission to get a handicap sticker. So I did have that, I don't have it now, but it really helped when I was actually using the walker and using the cane and having that real problem, you know, more than a year ago when I was really, really having some arthritis difficulty. But now I don't necessarily need that. Um, so again, get yourself a Kanjo mat. It is great, not just for the knee, but it'll help with other aches and pains in your body. Um, it's wonderful. You know, it's something you got to get used to. These little hard lotus flowers, you know, they're not playing around. They're serious. And it is really like standing on a bed of nails. But go to canjo.com. That's K-A-N-J-O.com. They've got great things on that site. There's also free shipping. If you have questions, um, they have a lot of information on there about the benefits of their products and how they can help you as opposed to using Accu. Uh, acupressure versus acupuncture. Um, you get some of the same benefits of that ancient Chinese medicine, which is what I like. Um, so there you have it. Kanja mat is the best thing for me at this point. Please like and subscribe people. Leave me a comment about what you see here today. Um, and again, I will talk with you very soon. So see you later, alligator. Bye.